Hi everyone, this is Hello Angel Doll Design. Today I am going to show you how I make this beautiful skirt step by step tutorial. I use African wax print to lining the skirt instead of using a normal lining. So I make it more different this time so that when the child put it on, you can see the visibility of the fabric inside. It looks more beautiful when the child put it on. And I also use the same fabric for the waistband. Please make sure to watch the video until the end so that you don't miss anything out. And if you are buying your tool fabric, you don't need more material. You just need 1.5 meters. And that 1.5 meters, you are not going to use them all because you don't want a lot of volume for the tool fabric. Please support us by subscribing, thumbs up on our video, comment down below if you have any question. If our tutorial is helpful, thumbs up. And if you're just stopping by, please, before you exit that video, remember to subscribe, like our video, share our video to your friends and loved ones. And let's get started. So this is my fabric that I'm using. I have already cut out my tool fabric and I've also cut out my African wasp fabric that I'm going to use to line in the skirt. And this is my elastic. The length of my elastic is 2.5 centimeter or one inch. And this is my waistband. I have cut that out. The length of my waistband is four and a half inch or 11.5 centimeter. To get the width of your waistband, you can take the child hip measurement. You can add one inch or 2.5 centimeter, or you can add two inch or five centimeters so that when you put your elastic it gathers a little bit and this is my fabric i'll place my measuring tape like this the length of my fabric is 12 and a half inches or 32 centimeter so this is the length that i have right here and to get the width of your skirt you take the child hip measurement so the my child hip measurement is 24 so you can add five inch to that six inch to that so that you can be able to gather your skirt so this is how i cut out my skirt and for my tool fabric i'll place my measuring tape like this. the length of my tool fabric is 13 inch or 33 centimeter my tool fabric is going to be longer than my lining once i hem my lining it's going to be more shorter so when you're cutting your fabric make sure that your lining is going to be shorter than your tool fabric so this is how i cut my fabric let's put the skirt together first thing that you have to do you put your skirt together this will be the center back of our skirt put them together make sure that when you're putting them together both front fabric are facing each other take it to your sewing machine stitch it with one centimeter depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric go ahead and stitch it together once you have done that take it to your overlocker overlock the raw edges or use zigzag to overlock the raw edges once you have done that also use that opportunity to hem your skirt fold inside one centimeter and then fold it again one centimeter and give it a top stitch all around so you are stitching the center back and also hemming your skirt at the same time once you have done that you take the waistband put them together make sure that both front fabric are facing each other take it to your sewing machine stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric once you have done stitching take it to your ironing board and press the seam apart the next thing that you have to do you take your tool fabric so i have six pieces of tool fabric i have two pieces right here and this is another two pieces and i have one piece separate and i also have this one piece separate so the way i am going to stitch a gather stitch thread on my tool fabric i will join two pieces together and i will stitch a gather stitch thread at the top edge of my tool fabric then i will pull this aside and i will take the second pieces two pieces together 
stitch a gather stitch thread at the top edge and i will pull that aside so what i'm going to do i will just take one piece of the tool fabric and i will stitch a gather stitch thread at the top edge and i will also repeat the same process with the last piece so this is how i am going to stitch a gather stitch thread on my tool fabric i have stitched my skirt together this is how it is and i've also stitched a gather stitch thread on the skirt i have hemmed my skirt all around this is how it look for the waistband i also stitch the center back together i take it to my ironing board i press the seam apart and i fold inside half an inch or 1.3 centimeter so what we are going to do we are going to gather the skirt just the same size of this waistband what you are going to do you pick your thread like this if you stitch a two gather stitch thread at the top edge of your skirt pick two thread while the other two thread will be inside your fabric if you stitch one gather stitch thread you're only picking one and why the other one will be inside your fabric all you have to do you just pick it and start pulling your skirt gradually once you pull it all around make sure that you gather it to the same size of this waistband that we have right here so go ahead and gather your skirt I have gathered my skirt this is how it is you can see just the same size of the waistband so i'll put my skirt aside the next thing that you have to do you take your tool fabric this is my tool fabric i have gathered my tool fabric all around so this is the two pieces i joined together i have gathered that and this is the other pieces this is just one pieces i've also gathered that you can see how it is so i'm going to pull them together like this the next thing that you have to do you just pull your gather thread aside and you're picking the both side seam you're going to join them together so that they will be one piece all over again take your pin pin it all around the side seam to the end once you have done pinning take it to your sewing machine stitch it together on the side seam and you also come down to this side pull your gather stitch thread aside pull the side seam of the tool fabric together take it to your sewing machine stitch the side seam together once you have done that also repeat the same process with the second tool fabric I have stitched it together this is how it is once you have done that i hope you guys can see that and i've also stitched it together this is how it is and this is the second pieces right here you can see i have one and two so what i'm going to do i am going to join them together so i will pick the side seam of this one and i'll join it together to this other one so i'm going to join the both side seam of the tool fabric together because the way i am going to hem the side seam of this tool fabric i am going to be using french seam i believe a lot of you know how to use french seam if you don't know how to use french seam to hem your skirt make sure to watch the video until the end so that you know how to use french seam to hem your tool fabric or even if you're making a dress for your kids or loved ones i'm pinning the both sides seam together i will take it to my sewing machine and i will give it a top stitch once i am done with that i will trim out from the seam allowance so when i'm trimming out from the seam allowance i will trim it very very close to my stitch thread so i will show you how to do that in a moment go ahead and put your tool fabric together pin it all around take it to your sewing machine and top stitch I have stitched the side seam together this is how it is 
and I take my scissors, I trim it very close to my stitch thread. This is how it looks right now once you have done that. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to be stitching French seam to overlock the raw edges. All you have to do, so you're going to push it like this and you just bring it out gently. Put your hand in between like this just to push it out and then you take your pin you secure that together like that and you keep putting your hand inside to push out the seam properly and you take your pin you use it to pin it together keep doing it like that all the way down I have pinned it together. The next thing that you have to do, take it to your sewing machine, go ahead and give it a top stitch it all over again. And you come down to this other side seam, take it to your sewing machine, go ahead and give it a top stitch all over again. Once you have done that, turn your skirt inside out. I have top stitched the side seam of my tool fabric together and I make sure the seam is inside the tool fabric and I did the same thing on this side. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to put our lining inside the tool fabric. So what you are going to do before you put your lining inside the tool fabric. So you pick your skirt, this is the center back and this will be the front of your skirt you can take a pin and place it like that and then you pick your skirt all over again put them together like this both front and you take a pin and you place it like this this will be the side seam of the skirt place it like this all over put them together take a pin this will be the side seam of the skirt so what you are going to do, you are going to put your skirt inside the tool fabric. Before you put it inside the tool fabric, make sure that the front of the fabric is going to be inside the tool fabric. So I will pick my lining skirt, I will put it inside like this. This is the side seam and this is the side seam that we just stitched. I will put them together and secure that with a pin. And then I will come down to this other side. This is the side seam. And this is the side seam of our tool fabric that we just stitched. The thread always gets on the way. So I will put them together and secure that with a pin. So what I'm going to do, I am going to readjust my tool fabric. I will go ahead and pull all the thread all over again once I am done with that. I will pin my two fabric at the waistline of my lining. I have pinned my two fabric around the waistline of my lining. This is how it look right now once you have done that. Make sure you put a lot of pin to secure the tool fabric properly. Once you have done that, take it to your sewing machine. You go ahead and top stitch it all around. Once you have done stitching, trim a little bit tight from the tool fabric. Do not remove your gather stitch yet because we are going to stitch our waistband at the waistline of this skirt that we are making because sometimes when you remove your gather stitch you will notice that the, the skirt will expand more so i would prefer that you don't remove your gather stitch yet until we stitch our waistband on these two skirt that we are making before you will remove your gather stitch thread so go ahead and stitch the tool fabric on your lining I have stitched my two fabric around the lining. This is how it is. And I've also trimmed a little bit out from my tool fabric at the top edge. So what I'm going to do, I am going to take my waistband and pin it at the waistline of our skirt. This is the center back of my skirt. And I will pick my waistband and pin them together, both center back together. Secure that with a pin. Once you have done that, the next thing that you have to do, you just pick your skirt, pass it through the waistband. I 
have passed it through the waistline of my skirt. The next thing that you have to do, this is the center back. You just put them together like this and you take a pin and you also place a pin right there. This will be the mid part. And you will do the same thing with your skirt. Put them together like this and also place a pin right there. This will also be the mid part. So what you are going to do, you are going to pull them together, bone mid part facing each other. Make sure that when you are pinning your waistband around the waistline of your skirt, both front fabric are facing each other. So I will secure this with a pin. Once you have pinned that together, the next thing that you have to do, go ahead and pin your skirt on the waist band i have pinned my waistband around the waistline the next thing that you have to do take it to your sewing machine you go ahead and top stitch it all around my seam allowance is half an inch or 1.3 centimeter once you have done stitching go ahead and use overlocker to overlock the raw edges or use zigzag to overlock the raw edges and also remove your gather stitch thread I have top stitch it all around this is how it look right now and i take my scissors i trim a little bit out from the seam allowance i use my zigzag stitches to overlock the raw edges and i will also remove all my gather stitch thread the next thing that we have to do we are going to use our seam allowance to cover the raw edges of our skirt what you are going to do you just fold it inside like this and you go ahead and start pinning it all around the waist line once you have done pinning take it to your sewing machine and top stitch before you top stitch remember to leave a gap so that you can put your elastic around the waistline leave about two inch or 10 centimeters so that there will be enough gap for you to place your elastic so i will go ahead and start pinning it all around take it to my sewing machine and top stitch once i am done with that i will come back here and i will show you how to put the elastic around the waistline I have given it a top stitch this is how it is and this is my gap right here you can see how that look the next thing that i'm going to do i am going to put my elastic at the waist line of this tool scale that we are making so what i'm going to do i am i've already placed my pin in here i'll place it inside like this i'll go ahead and pass it all around the waist line I have put my elastic all around the waistline so what i'm going to do i am going to place it like this on top of each other and i will take it to my sewing machine and top stitch make sure to secure it two to three times so that the elastic is properly secure once you have done that push the elastic inside and top stitch the open gap I will show you how my finale look. I have top stitch the open gap and I use the opportunity. I just give it a top stitch around the waistline. This is how it look once you have done that. This is the final look of my tutu skirt with African wasp print as a lining. It's very beautiful step by step tutorial. And this skirt that we make today is for three to four years old child and this other one is for two to three years old child thank you all so much for watching and keep watching and have a beautiful beautiful day bye